What's up guys, Spades here again with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you all a few tips that completely fixed my issue with OBSing and coding overloaded. So the first tip is to go to File, go to Settings, and then you want to go to Output Settings, and up here at the top you'll see a bar that says Output Mode. Mine's already on Advanced, but if yours is on Simple, you want to change it to Advanced. Then you want to go to Recording, change your recording format to MP4, change your encoder to NVIDIA, NVENC if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. For NVIDIA, on rate control, you want to use CQP, and I keep mine at 18, but some people use 15, and if that doesn't work for you very well, you can go all the way down to 20, and that should help. On keyframe interval, I keep mine at 0, preset, I use quality, profile high. You want to turn both of these off, as they can mess your performance up. On GPU, unless you have two GPUs, you just want to keep it at 0, and max B frames, keep it 2. Next, you want to go to audio. And on sample rate, you want to use 44.1 kilohertz, and that's all we had to do in this section. Now on video, you want to use your monitor's resolution for the base canvas resolution. And on the scale resolution, I use 1080p because I have a pretty beefy PC. But if you have a less beefy one or you're on a laptop, you might want to scale it down to 1280 by 720. On the downscale filter, I use Linksos, although some people use Bicubic, which can definitely help your performance. And on FPS values, I use 60, but 30 will help if you keep getting encoding overloaded. And for the pretty much the most important tip of the video, you want to go to Advanced Settings, and on Process Priority, it will probably be on Normal, and you want to change it to High. That's what fixed mine completely, and that's what I recommend you all use. Next, what you want to do is you want to go to OBS Studio on your desktop. You want to right click on it, click properties, and then you want to go to compatibility up at the top, and then check run this program as administrator, click apply and click OK. And that should be all you have to do to get encoding overloaded to disappear. Hope you guys have a good day, and don't forget to like and subscribe.